Well, good morning. This morning we looked at Judges chapter 2, and in Judges chapter 2 we see what is going to happen through the book of Judges. That uh, it begins with Joshua, who had taken possession of the land and uh, divided it among the Israelites, and the people served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and of the elders who had lived him and all those who had seen the great things the Lord had done for Israel. But then the next generation became disobedient. They began to serve Baals. And uh, the book of Judges is this story of how the people served Baals or other false gods, and the Lord gave them into the hands of their enemies who attacked them and defeated them. They turned to the Lord. The Lord raised up for them a judge who would preach and bring the people back to God and then be defeat their enemies, the people would remain faithful through the lifetime of that judge. When that judge died, they would turn back to worshipping Baals. Uh, God would send a judge. The people would turn back to the Lord. The Lord would defeat their enemies. They would stay faithful until the, the end of the lifetime of that judge. And then they would turn back to worshipping Baals and other false gods and so on. And the pattern is repeated and repeated and repeated. Here in the life of Israel, we see a warning for us. Let's make sure that in our lives we turn from sin and we abolish it completely. We do not keep falling back into the same patterns of disobedience. Let's make sure that we resolve ourselves to keep ourselves pure before the Lord and to walk wholly before him all of our lives and not keep slipping back into the same patterns and making the same mistakes. Grant, we beseech you, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.